to my Iceland series of travel videos. I'm making these videos because I want to share my fun adventures here in Iceland, but also hopefully I can help out some of you if you're planning a trip to Iceland as well, or maybe just dreaming about it. So my third, fourth, and seventh and eighth, oh, I've lost track of how many days I've spent here, were actually spent mostly in Reykjavik. Now I did end up exploring a lot of the countryside of Iceland, which I'm going to get into in more detail in a couple of upcoming videos, but I thought I would talk a little bit about Reykjavik because it's actually a pretty fun little city. During my week here in Iceland, which actually ended up being more like a week and a half, but anyway, um, I was traveling with my brother. Now, he's a chef, and so he was going to be really interested in the food culture around here in Reykjavik, so we did spend a lot of time checking out different restaurants in the city. One of the first things we did was actually take a food tour, which I highly recommend if you're ever visiting a new city. This is a great way to get an overview of the food culture and check out a few different places that you might want to come back to and eat at later in the week. Now, I'm normally mostly a vegetarian. I hate to say vegetarian because I do sometimes eat fish. And so when I was here in Reykjavik, I ate a lot more fish than normal. I ate like every kind of fish you could possibly imagine. It tastes so good here. It's of course fresh from the ocean. Um, they catch it every day. It just tasted absolutely incredible and I enjoyed sampling the different kinds. Um, one of my favorite Icelandic meals that I had was actually a very traditional Icelandic stew. And they call it stew, but it's not really a brothy stew. It happens to be a little bit more like what we would consider a casserole with fish and potatoes. It has a sauce on top and it's usually served over bread that's kind of sweet. I loved going to the cafes here in Reykjavik, especially Reykjavik Roasters, and there was also a really good pastry shop, I ate way too many pastries here, called uh, Bread and & Company, and yes, that's actually its name in Icelandic, and pretty much the same way um, to pronounce it in English. On my fourth day here in Iceland, I actually took a horseback riding tour near Reykjavik. Um, it was on the famous Icelandic horses. Now they have a special breed of horse here that are basically dating back to the Viking era. They're a really sweet type of horse. They have a nice temper. They're very intelligent and well-mannered. And they do a special, um, I don't know the technical word for it, but they do a special trot or a gait called the tolp. But I unexpectedly found myself with extra time in Reykjavik because my flight was actually canceled due to weather, which I read was somewhat rare, so it's kind of strange that I ended up having that happen. Um, I ended up staying in Reykjavik an extra two and a half days, so I got to see the city a little bit more. Um, I ended up going to their National Gallery and the Culture House. You actually buy one ticket and get admission to both. And since I really love arts, I thought that was a really nice experience and it was a great, uh, way to become a little bit more familiar with the Icelandic culture. So I really enjoyed that and I would recommend that, especially if you like art. Okay. 
Another unique museum I visited here in Reykjavik was the Punk Museum, which is actually located in a former public toilet. <laughs> it's right downtown, and um, it was it was fun. It was very novel. So I really loved visiting Reykjavik, even though I ended up spending a little bit more time here than I expected or planned on, um, because it's a really charming city, everyone was really friendly, there was plenty to do here and plenty to eat here, and um, it was kind of a nice, uh, slower way to discover Iceland, so instead of like going places every single day, it's kind of nice to have, schedule a day or two in your vacation to chill out. So. This is a good place to do it. I hope this video helps you out if you're planning a trip to Iceland or maybe just dreaming about one. If you want more information, check out the playlist I have linked below with my other videos about Iceland. Alright, see you again soon!